Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing IU and J Park? Yeah, J Park Friendship. So let's get into this. I'm going to do a Celtic Cross and we will clarify afterwards. Maybe even do some, depending on what shows up, we'll have a look. Since it is just a friendship, we will look at the friendship dynamic. Alright, can I get some cards for, what is it again? IU and J Park. <laughs> Alright, we have Courage and Strength and we have the Queen of Cups. So, courageous and I feel she's beautiful and marriage material with the Queen of Cups is loving, nurturing and uh, marriage material, really. And, the sweetheart of the queens. All right, so that is their energy. Can I get the feelings? Ah, judgment. Hmm. Making a judgment call? Why is judgment here, please? What is that about? What's the judgment? Holding out on judgment, maybe? Ah. Feeling like this person is a knight of wands, in and out, non-committal, here for a good time, not a long time. Trying to make a judgment call when it comes to this person and their energy. She's being brave. She probably feels that this is what this person is about. What is she thinking about? Ah work. She's thinking about her work. Anything else? The Eight of Pentacles? Anything with the Eight of Pentacles? Mm. And this love offer. What's in the recent past? Mm. Very happy about something. Why is the sun here? What is that to do with? Why is the sun here? <laughs> it flipped up and back around. The sun, what is the sun about? Ah, cup of love, a union, being happy about a union here. Or coming into union? Maybe dating somebody? Let's see, near future? What's the near future for IU? Please enter it and love. Ah, taking that leap of faith. Ah, all right. So what does her family feel? Hmm, justice. I kind of feel like they feel like she's finally getting somebody they like. Could be this person has money. Showing up as the Queen of Pentacles could be in their feminine side, could be a woman. This is external friends, work, other people in her life. So the Queen of Pentacles is here, I'm not really sure who that is yet. Knight of Cups don't see coming. So there might be another love offer here. And what's the outcome here? What is the outcome? Hmm, the hermit. Isolation and healing. Hmm. Waiting for her ships to come in is the challenge. So she might have to discern on whether, make that judgment if this is her person or is this person coming in her person? She's wanting to take that leap of faith. Let's clarify. What's the energy uh, clarification here? We have um, strength and the Queen of Cups. Strength and the Queen of Cups, please. Let's clarify that. Ah, two of Cups. So there's definitely love here. A lot of strength and courage when it comes to this love. A lot of sweet love, sweetness. Marriage vibes, for sure. 
What's the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles? Ah, Ten of Pentacles. So this offer, they might work together on something here. With this offer, finance, finances, maybe she gets an offer to upper finances. Could be this offer from this person who has money. She might not have to work, but she will. What is the sun and the two of cups? Yeah, this person's watching her. It's the king of cups. And she's showing up as the queen of cups. So it is a divinely guided union. What is the fool? Ah, to do with the future. So taking that leap of faith into the future or towards her future. What's the justice card with her family? That's a lot, Spirit. I'm not taking all those. What is the justice card with her family? Why is that here? Why is the justice card here for the family? Knight of Wands. Kind of feel like they feel that he's here for a good time, not a long time, isn't one to commit. They want to see justice for her. Um, is he the Knight of Wands? Is he not going to commit? He's just here for a good time or what? What's the Queen of Pentacles? Ah, tower. So it looks like there's a friend that comes in and just watches it all here. What happens here? She's showing up as the queen and he's showing up as the king of cups. And this knight of wands type of energy, not just once but twice, with justice? So her parents might feel like she might get vindicated for this type of behavior from this person. Could be that her friend tells her something that changes the whole dynamic about this person. What isn't, what don't we see coming here? What is this Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Ah, Wheel of Fortune is here. The wheel is turning in her favor when it comes to this love. Why is the Hermit here then? Why is the Hermit here? Having courage, going within, maybe doing some work here on her inner self. Does she meet somebody though? Why? What's the Hermit in the Strength? Why is that here? The Hermit and the Strength. Oh, she might have a lot of options. Or confused. Maybe there's two people here. Someone she has to choose from. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like there's two offers here. She's waiting for her ships to come in. She's heard some news about an offer. Or an, so there's two offers here. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Cups here with another offer. And this has to do with love and her happiness. She's still trying to make a judgment call on this person, I feel. kind of feel like her family wants justice for her when it comes to this type of behavior, this in and out type of behavior. And it could be that her friend tells her something that changes the whole dynamic. Someone else might be coming in for her as part of her uh, dharma. She has to heal from this. She's got courage to see that there are other cups being offered to her. Let's look at the Romance Angels and see what comes in for that. Can I get five more cards, please? 
five more cards. Okay, I think that's probably good. And we have separation. So she might not take this after all. Let's see, what do we have here? <laughs> here is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. So they might have different types of religion that might be a problem. There's unrequited love here. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I kind of feel like uh, it has to do with this Knight of Wands so it says it's time to come to clear your energy and release your ex so this person that comes in here okay wants love with her to be happy she wants to take the leap of faith but when she does uh, she ends up getting justice here her family wants her to have justice and her friends um, see what's going on here with this tower and I feel like that is when that she releases this person this ex her friend tells her something I feel which has that tower okay forgiving and learning so she releases this person she learns how to forgive and um, and learns from her from whatever she was meant to learn with that person. Finances and career um, was a factor here. Uh, could have been why they wanted to get with her. That Ten of Pentacles, right? And her working. And then this new person coming in. There might be an engagement because there's lots of chemistry here. So I feel like whoever she's with here with this Knight of Wands energy that her parents do not like, <laughs> um, I think she leaves him in the dust and goes towards this other offer. She has, she's going to heal first and then she's going to wrangle up the courage to look at the other offers she has coming in which happens to be someone lucky here so lucky in love so i would imagine it's very hard being in the public eye and feeling like people aren't there just for your money so that must be a tough one to decipher um whether they're there for you or if they're actually there for your money so in any case I'm going to leave it here for IU, um, and yeah, I feel like she's going to have her pick here. She's going to have to see that there's a lot more other people that want to give her an offer after this happens. So I kind of feel like, yeah, justice is here, the truth is here, different perspective on this person, happiness again, wish fulfillment, going back to work, and this is when this offer will come in, it'll come in quickly, she's worried that it's going to be something sad or bad, and shady ass behavior, which it is, she ends it, she ends the cycle, she walks away, and before she know it, there's a new love offer, from the King of Pentacles. It's a choice in love. There's lots of desire. Could be a Capricorn. I kind of feel like it's passion. She's going to use her intuition. And this person is from the past. There's passionate news about him. Equal give and take. And he's single. 
and he's looking for long-term love. He might see her at a celebration. She might be uh, standing up for herself and having boundaries. Maybe they work together. She's worried about being juggled. She is wish fulfillment, but she has been hurt in the past. She feels like she missed out on an opportunity with her emperor, a new passionate new beginning. But there's lots of competition and she's waiting for her ships to come in. She, after this happens, she becomes the empress once she heals and stuff. And she makes a judgment call. She manifests what she wants. I don't feel she's any longer a wounded warrior. She's going to fight for what she wants or she'll walk away. And I kind of feel like things are coming in for her that are better than what she has going on here. She finds her emperor. She gets away from this person that's just here for a good time, not necessarily a long time. And uh, I like this for her. She'll find that chemistry and she'll be getting engaged. Let's find out when. When will she meet her person she'll be getting engaged to, Spirit? In nine months? Nine weeks? Nine days? Somebody that's a Pisces? Aquarius? Virgo? Aries? Pisces? So they might both have that in their chart. Pisces, <laughs> we know, and Leo. So, anyways, that is the reading for IU. IU? Where is it? Yeah, IU. <laughs> and J Park. So, this J Park, I feel, is the one here. Who she gets married to or engaged to is not J Park. So, she is wanting to be with Jay Park, but he's in that energy, here for a good time, not a long time. So she breaks that up because there's something that is told here by the friend. So whoever this new person is, it is not Jay Park, okay? So just saying, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing in the cards. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't done so already. And we will see you next time. Stay blessed. All right. Later.